I have a quick tip for all you Final Cut Pro users. It's gonna help you stay organized, it's gonna help you work more efficiently, and it's super easy. If you're digging this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're not already. Let me know in the comments below if you like these types of videos. Do you wanna see more tutorials, maybe some how-tos? With that being said, let's dive right in. So we're talking timelines, we're talking libraries, we're talking events, and we're talking organization in Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna use my latest trip to San Francisco as, a, as an example of organization. Now this all starts with how organized you are on, upon original import. So as you can tell from my latest trip to San Francisco, I have, I have it broken down by B-roll. I have some time lapses here, some stills and my talking points. So this is gonna help me stay organized when I bounce these into Final Cut. So let's open Final Cut Pro now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So everything that shows up here is going to be your library. Now your library contains all your subfolders, your footage, your product, your project, your events. Sadly, there's no shortcut for creating a new library unless somebody knows that there is. But if you go to, if you go here, final new, you'll notice there is no keyboard shortcut for libraries, which sucks because I'm a huge keyboard shortcut fan, but I digress. Let's open library. Now, since this is going to be, a f this is going to be from a recent trip to San Francisco, I'll just name this folder San Francisco. I'll open the finder window and I'll show you where this is and why this is so helpful. Now, the location of your Final Cut libraries may be different. It all depends on where you have them. I just have them in the movies. So you'll notice, you see here the library San Francisco that I just created. This is very helpful when backing up specific libraries because this contains all your subfolders, all your footage, all your events, and your projects. So you could, in theory, just drag this over into your external drive and just back up that, that library specifically. Let's hop back into Final Cut. By default, you'll see that Final Cut has a smart collection for you. This is kind of nifty because it'll break things down by video, audio, favorites, and stills, which we'll get into in just a moment. You have to have at least one event in your library, so Final Cut will, by default, name you one, which I'm not sure there's a way to rename these. If someone out there knows a way to rename these events, let me know in the comments below. This would be very helpful. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new, we're gonna create a new event. The shortcut for that is option N. I'm gonna go ahead and label this footage. This is gonna contain all those subfolders, so my talking points, my B-roll, all broken down into my footage event. You can look at event as folders. You don't necessarily have to name them dates, but by default, Final Cut does name them by date. So let's go ahead and create footage. And then there's two ways that you can import the footage. You can simply just create Click on this icon here, or the keyboard shortcut's gonna be Command I. We're gonna bounce all of our footage into our footage event. I don't want my time lapses or my still, so I'm just gonna create all the footage and go ahead and import selected. When your event is highlighted, it will show you all the footage within that event. So if you click on the, on the down arrow here, you'll see these keys. These keys signify each individual folder that you saw earlier. So if I wanna look for just talking points, if I have my hotel B-roll, my driving B-roll, all of my subfolders lie within this event. Now, as I stated earlier, since we can't since we can't rename this event, typically what I do to stay organized is I delete it. You can't delete it unless you have one event created. So after we created the footage, went ahead and deleted that one. Now we're gonna create one for our time lapses. So again, that keyboard shortcut is option N. We're gonna name this time lapses. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command I so we can import our time lapses. In terms of importing time lapses, I do not wanna import this folder. Reason being is it, it contains all of my raw files and I don't want the raw files in my timeline. I just want the final JPEG. So I created a subfolder within this. You see here it says edited. This contains all my final edited photos. Now that we have everything imported, into our San Francisco library. Everything is easy to find. So we have one time lapse here, we have a second time lapse here. All of my footage is broken down into individual files and this helps so much in not only backing it up, but it also helps in work efficiency. Because if I know that my vlog is going to start with talking points, I can go right to my talking points subfolder. Everything is very easy to find. You can also create a subfolder for music, for sound effects. All of that can be found in here. You can add it to the smart collection. So the more organized you are within Final Cut, the faster and more efficient you can work. And that's it. It's that easy. Quick tips 
helping you work more efficiently. So go out there, get organized, and remember, 1% better every day.